What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, you guys already know what's going on. We are hopping back onto that Series 13 rank ladder, but this time using the first mythical Pokemon, Mew. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, the door is right there. Just get on out of here. I'm just playing. Stay a little longer, but consider subscribing. It really goes a long way, and it helps me grow as a content creator. But before we get started with today's video, I just want to go over something. You guys can probably tell that your boy changed up his face cam positioning. So it is now in a closer positioning, and you guys can probably see my face a bit clearer, and hopefully you guys like it a bit better. I just felt like the other one was a little bit too far away. So I was like, yo, let me move it for the jeans community and see how they like it. So if you guys do like the new face cam positioning, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with Shadow Rider Calyrex. He has the as one ability alongside with its best item, which is going to be that Focus Sash. Rocket moves with Expanding Force, Protect, Astro Barrage, and Energy Ball. I really do like this move set. Pairs well with that in DD with that Psychic Surge. And we also have that Astro Barrage and Energy Ball for coverage. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Whimsicott over here. And Whimsicott is just a top tier support mod. It's got Prankster alongside with Mental Herb, and then it's got Dazzle and Bleem, Tailwind for Speed Control, Protect, and Fake Tears for that special defense drop. Middle left is going to be Kyogre. Kyogre is, just like Calyrex, a really strong OP in Series 13. It's got Drizzle for Weather Control, Mystic Water as its item to boost water damage, and then it's got Water Spout, Protect, Origin Pulse, and Thunder for its four moves. Next Pokemon is going to be another support Pokemon. It is going to be Indeedee over here with the Psychic Surge and the Colbert Berry. It's got Expanded Force, Follow Me, Protect, and Helping Hand. I really do like this support Pokemon because it pairs up well with the Calyrex and Mew because they both have Expanded Force. Bottom left hand corner is going to be one of my favorite legendaries of all time. We got the Deer Pokemon, we got Xerneas. It's got Fairy Aurora alongside with that Power Herb to make Geomancy be used in one turn. And it's got Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Terrain Pulse for its final three moves. Last Pokemon on today's team is the reason we are showcasing. We got ourselves Mew over here. It's got that synchronized ability alongside with that choice scarf item. I really do like this move set on him. He has expanding force for stab, transform so we can transform into any other Pokemon. Then we got E-Web for speed control and U-turn just to pivot out because you know U-turn is such a good move with a choice scarf Pokemon. But guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, mental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Mew team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a powerhouse of a squad. He has Zacian, Kyogre, Groudon, Yvelta, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Whimscott. So Whimscott is his only support Pokemon, making me want to go into Whimscott just to counter up on him, to him. But he just has such a strong team, right? His team is super powerful. I could go into... I could try to Geomance this, right? In DD and Zernius, it wouldn't be bad, especially if he goes into Whimscott. Right, that wouldn't be too bad, so which I kind of want to do. So I'm going to go Indeedee, I'm going to go with Xerneas here. I think I'm going to try to Geomance this first turn. And then I could bring Mew in the back end, alongside with a Pokemon like Shadow Rider Calyrex. Could definitely be good, but the problem here is if he Tailwinds, then his Zacian outspeeds me, his Shadow Rider Calyrex outspeeds me, and I think he definitely is going to lead a Pokemon like this. Right? It makes a lot of sense. Or I can go into... Now what I want to do is... I want to go into Geomance here. I, mean, I do have Choice Scarf Mew in the back end, which I really like. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Oh, Scott, what are your moves? What are your moves? You do have Fake Tears. Oh, and maybe I just want to go into my Calyrex. You know what? No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. Actually, Kyogre would be a bit better. What would Calyrex be? I like Calyrex. I really just like Calyrex. This is a tough choice. Tough choice. Series 13 is definitely a hard series. So hopefully we get rolling strong here. And we can grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But two things I want to go over before battle number one starts. First one is question of the day. You guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below. What should I change when I make my new layout for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Because I want to make it kind of like a similar layout to this one. But I definitely want to change it up. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. And the second thing I want to go over, is I'm not gonna lie here, guys. I already recorded this video. But I forgot to hit the record button. I legit just got done like 10 minutes ago. I was like, okay, solid video. We went 2-1. and one. We grabbed ourselves two wins, one loss. And then I looked over. I was like, I never hit the record button. So I was sitting here talking to myself for about 50 minutes. It was awful. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like it at all. Because I looked over. I was like, are you kidding me? Luckily, it's a chill day for Jeans today. I'm not in a rush. So... I'm back on the grind. I'm back on the grind. We're recording another set of videos, but he's going to end up going into these two, which I kind of don't mind. I mean, he could go Tailwind. Uh, we could go Helping Hand. 
I'm actually this is this is bad for us. I really don't like this. I mean I could go helping hand here and and go into a thunderbolt, which is actually pretty solid for us. What we're gonna do. But I think he just tailwinds water spouts, right? I think he just tailwinds water spouts to kind of get after it all that way. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. If we can get rid of the Kai, that could be pretty good. And then I can kind of start following these shots. My problem here is the double hitting Pokemon. Just cannot deal with them. Cannot deal with the double hitting Pokemon. Really, really tough. Like I said, uh, Kyogre and Kyogre and what is that Pokemon called? And Shadow Rider Kyogre is super, super strong. They're just insanely strong. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna see a Tailwind come out here. Follow us from a mile away. And he's gonna go into a Water Spout, right? So we'll be able to eat that up, Kyogre, pretty well. And DD eats up as well. That's beautiful. And we should just get rid of Kyogre here. That's not a bad turn. That's not a bad turn. We don't even get rid of him. That actually hurts a little bit. That hurts a little bit. That actually hurts a lot a bit. Um, oh, we don't even get rid of him. That's tough. That covers me did nothing. So he could predict me going into another Thunder. I kind of want to check out his Pokemon before we do do that. Do we really think he has Groudon in the back end? I mean, he could. He could definitely have Groudon in the back end. I could follow me the shot, but again, he's just going to go into whatever. So I might just protect Indeedee and just go into a Starfall. Gotta go from there, right? We gotta get rid of Kyogre. And plus, we're wasting out a uh, Tailwind turns too, which is good. Which is really good. So, I'm gonna take out Kyogre here. This Starfall should be able to do it. But we're kind of hoping maybe he, for he swaps into Groudon. Not really. I kind of would just rather get rid of the Kyogre. But I doubt he would bring Kyogre in. That just seems to, like, unbalance itself, right? He does withdraw this. Is he going into Groudon? He does have Groudon. <laughs> he does have Groudon, so he thinks we're going into Electric Move. We're not going to have him waste that, and I think that his uh, Wimscott is just going to take out my D right, with like a Gleam or something. So I'm just going to protect. I protect this shot. Giga Drain comes out here, so yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We blocked out. We go into a Starfall here. So how much damage can the Starfall do? How much damage are you doing here? That's a great amount of damage. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's a solid turn for us. I really do like that turn. I really do like that turn. So from here, he could Giga Drain me again. I could hard swap out. I mean, we have Mew who can outspeed. We have Calyrex who can outspeed. I mean, not in Tailwind, but we have we have Protect on uh, Calyrex, which is good. Because Tailwind's rather ending soon. I think at this point, we just go into a Follow Me. And we just drop another Starfall. Or I could lower speed. I could might go for Max Strike here. How much damage does Max Strike do? I think Max Strike would be the better play. Because again, this, thing, this thing's going to be Sash, so we might as well slow it down. We might as well start slowing these Pokemon down. Might as well start doing that. So let's see what he does. Not a bad Dynamax from us. I felt like we got a lot of value out of that. I really do. We Helping Hand just because uh, one Sky outspeeds and we want to get some value out of it. He's just going to Giga Drain. Yeah. That was going to happen if we did not Helping Hand. So yeah. If we didn't Helping Hand there, he was just going to do that. Good play by us to drop that Helping Hand. And this thing's just going to go for Blades, which we should be able to soak up. Beautiful, we soak it, and then a star for all oh, changes into terrain. That kind of hurts. I kind of just want the max strike because I knew this thing was sash. I really wanted the max strike. <laughs> I really wanted the max strike, but since the terrain was that, it goes into that. Um, Mew, can you outspeed? Mew should be able to outspeed. Mew should be able to outspeed with this choice scarf. And he doesn't know I have choice scarf. So I feel like we just get rid of the Groudon with the with the Mew. Right? You should be able to take him out, Mew. Mew, if you can't take him out, that's gonna hurt the soul. Mew should be able to take him out. And then we can kinda just go from there, right? Or I could transform. I could definitely transform. I feel like Mew just takes out Groudon and then Xerneas should just be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. I could go into GMS, but I would rather take out this Pokemon just to get rid of Tailwind. He's gonna withdraw Whimsy. So Whimsy gets to withdraw him. Who's he gonna pop into here? That's him coming out here. Okay. Okay, I don't mind that. Like I said, this should be able to take him out. Mew should outspeed, right? Yeah, Expanding Force comes out here. We outspeed. Can you take out this ground, please? 
It's low on HP. Good work, Mew. Mew gets us started off strong here. We get rid of the Groudon. Mew's gonna fly through here, and um, would now be a good turn to hard swap. Would now be a good. Oh no, he's gonna bring back out when Scott the Tailwind. Um, but I kind of want to hard swap just so we can get this Zacian stats. Hmm. He still has Dynamax though. He's gonna Dynamax his next Pokemon. Uh definitely gotta swap you. I think we just let our Xerneas go down here, right? And obviously I'll try to go for the game. Yeah, I'm gonna swap Mew just so I get my choice scarf back. And I can transform and I can do anything I want. Tough news. Tough news here. Tough, tough first battle. Tough, tough first battle. Like I said, he has a powerhouse of a squad. We know he still has Kai Ogre. And Kai Ogre's rather light, but he has that. He might be, no, no way's choice. Unless he, he could be. That better go into my Xerneas here. I was throwing my Xerneas in the trash just for this. Yeah, okay. So Xerneas goes down here. I'm fine with that. So Xerneas goes down. He sets back up a Tailwind. Um, Dashing is still fast on the field. He could double down on my Calyrex. And he might do that. I feel like he is going to double down on my Calyrex. I might just protect my Calyrex and transform with you. Wouldn't be a bad play. Would not be a bad play. Right? I feel like that's like our only way out here. Is we have to protect and transform. <laughs> it's a must. It's a must. He's faster than me. And I feel like he's just like, okay, I'm going to Behemoth Blade into this Calyrex. And then finish it off with the Whimscott with like a Gleam or something. But if I transform into Zacian, then we start posing a real big threat onto the field. If I protect the boy, I'm going to say, yo, I'm reading this hard. He's going to go into Blade, and that beautiful protect genes, beautiful protect from us. He's going to go, oh, and he doubles, he doubles. So that is top tier reads on, on our end, and we get off this free transform. So we said, hey, yo, we got a Zacian too. So Mew is coming out to play. Mew is coming out to play, plus two Mew is coming out to play. Now you got to decide. Now you got to decide who you going after. I am choice as well. Do I copy his stats? If I copy his stats, I would be faster than Kyogre. I think I am still faster than Kyogre. He was out here. He's plus two. That's beautiful. And we'll just go into an Astro Brash here. And then just double down into the same. We do have Quick Attack. We do have Quick Attack, but this is exactly what I'm going to do here. Wow, this one's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy battle. He goes for Behemoth Blade. Go into my Calyrex, please. Go into my Calyrex. Actually, don't go into my Calyrex. He's going to double down on my Calyrex. That's scary. This is tough. Whimsicott, what are you going for? What is Whimsy going for? He gets rid of my Calyrex. That hurts. Okay, so Calyrex goes down here. I don't think this is too bad. I don't think this is too bad. Because we take out his ass in here. He has Kyogre in the back end. Another Behemoth Blade might take out that Kyogre, even though it's not very effective. Look how weird that looks. Transform 1 looks so weird. The Transform 1 looks so weird. But we take out Zacian. Kyogre's rather low on HP. So I think another Blade takes him out. Um, and then at that point, Tailwind should end. At that point, Tailwind ends. I mean, let me see how many turns are left in Tailwind. Let's see how many turns are left in Tailwind. One. So I could say that we soak up a shot from Kyogre, but I feel like we don't, right? So I was going to be like, okay, Kyogre protects, but I feel like we have to go after this Pokemon, right? He still has Dynamax. I totally forgot. I think we just lost. I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot because there's no way we're soaking up a geyser, right? That's the only way of winning is if we soak up a geyser. But if we land this behemoth way, we should be fine. We should be fine, but I just I, I couldn't protect. I would have loved to protect. Let's see how someone plays. He's gonna fake. Yeah, okay, now that's definitely GG's. That is definitely GG's. He's gonna come out here with the fake tears. He's gonna drop me with the geyser. That's game all day. That's game all day. But yo, this close to making a huge comeback with Mew. Mew was definitely thriving in that battle. I'm glad we got the showcase into his fullest potential, but we're 0 1. You guys know what that means. We gotta hop into a second battle. Look for our first victory.
We ended up losing that first battle, but it's all good. We got to showcase Mew, and I count that as W, but we're technically still 0-1. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against a powerhouse of a team. Like, Series 13 is just stacked with Pokemon. Like, Palkia, Kyogre, Zacian, Regilecki, Groudon, and Wimscott. That team is just insanely stacked. I would love to go into Xerneas and Papa Geomance, but I just can't. He's definitely going to lead either the like Groudon or, like, Kyogre, somebody with a double-hitting move. So, we're going to have to go into Wimscott and, you know, go into some Tailwinds. So I'm going to go Wimscott. I could go Calyrex. I feel like Calyrex is going to go Calyrex, bring Kyogre. In the back end, but not least, we could bring Xerneas. I mean, Xerneas isn't too bad. I mean, Zacian can dump on it. Palkia can't really do anything up against it. Xerneas can kind of just outspeed it and get after that. But it's either Xerneas or Mew. Mew's not too bad because I can straight up transform and kind of go from there. And then just outspeed, take your stats, kind of roll from there. And plus, this is a Mew video, so I'm going to roll in with Mew. I am going to roll in with Mew. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Come on. We need a win here. Mew is definitely a tough Pokemon to get a win with. I feel like he's, he's lacking in Series 13, like, on, like, the, what should I say, like, the tier list. He's definitely on the lower end. He's definitely on the lower end. There are a lot of better Series 13 Pokemon, but still, I want to showcase them for you guys. If you guys are Mew fans, you guys can definitely let's go. He's going to go Reggie. He's going to go Whimsy. Uh, I didn't lead the Kyogre, so I'm kind of cool with that. But Reggie does have speed, which kind of hurts. So, uh, I could fake tears. I don't think when I don't think Regilecki is going to go after... Uh, I don't think Regilecki is going to go after... after my Wimscott, so I feel like Fake Tear is going to be to play with an Astral Barrage. And I feel like a Tailwind is just going to pop out from him. We go Fake Tears. I think he Tailwinds, and he might just E-Web. Stays in. We're going to hope he's not focused on that. So yeah, there's a Tailwind. He could Volt Switch. That would be a beautiful play if he Volt Switches. He E-Webs. Oh, I'm cool with that. I can set up a Tailwind next turn. I am fine with that. Calyrex still should be able to chunk up some big damage on this guy. Hopefully he's not focused Ash, and we just get rid of him. Right? That'd be solid in turn from us. I'm gonna go Astral Barrage here. Take out the Reggie, please. No Sash. Of course he's Sashed. Who would have guessed it? This thing is Sashed. This thing ends up being Sash. Uh, I'm kind of cool with that. I'm just gonna Tailwind here. Take speed. I mean, I could go into a Gleam and pick up the double kill. But I feel like Astral Barrage is. Right. Could hard swap. I could hard swap Tailwind. I could hard swap Gleam. I think we have to get rid of this uh this Regilecki. Regilecki has got to go. He's gonna end up taunting me, and guess what? We got Mental Herb. That's a solid little turn from us. A solid little turn from us. I'll take that all day. So I don't think Reggie can take out my uh Can you take out my uh a Calyrex? I don't think you can. For Thunderbolt, I don't think you can take out my Calyrex. Let's see. Cool. Yeah. He cannot. He simply cannot. Astro Barrage can poke through here. Not too bad. I could hard swap the Calyrex to save for late game. But it does. It is going to be fastest on the field. So I could do that if I want to. I could definitely do that if I want to. We'll see who he goes into. I could start fake tearing as well because he cannot swap any of these next Pokemon. And Kyrie can come out here and. That's not too bad. Um, okay. Let's see what he rolls into. Zacian. Yeah, I might want to drop that. Thanks. I might want to. And Kyogre. So he's going to Dynamax the Ogre here. Calyrex might be able to outspeed that. I don't know. I could sacrifice my Mew. I might just protect and uh, go into a... Uh, fake Tears here. I Fake Tears the Ogre, though. Okay, I want to get off of Fake Tears and somebody. It's Ogre's Dynamax. We know the Ogre is going to Dynamax. Zacian, I mean, I can transform into Zacian and just get plus two. So I'm I am going to uh, fake tears into that. I'm just going to protect this turn. Because if I had to guess, it's going to go into... Oh, wow. He doesn't even... Okay, so we get to waste out some turns. I'm cool with this. Fake tears coming out here. Us, did he Dynamax already? No, he didn't Dynamax at all. He didn't Dynamax at all. So we're just going to start dropping special defense. Water Spats can come out here. We're going to block. I'm cool with that. I could start e webbing. But what's got soaks? What's got soaks? That's huge. Unless he's, he's probably doubling down, right? Thank God he wasn't a what's it called a substitute Zassian. That could have been a problem. That could have been a problem. So he doubles down into Wimscott. That's cool by me. Um, he has a few turns left in Tailwind. I could Dynamax to 
Ogre here. Or I can bring out Mew. Hmm. I think we I think we have to go into Kyogre here. Dynamax Kyogre drop a lightning. I mean, I can soak up pretty well, right? Whatever he has to offer. I'm kind of with this. I'm kind of with the Dynamax and the Lightning. I think he Dynamaxes here himself, too. And I just drop an Astro Barrage. That's our best bet. That's our best bet. Okay. So, last turn in Tailwind. After this, Kai Ogre is going to be faster for one turn. Same thing with Calyrex. And then I have Mew in the back end. Mew is not bad in the back end. Because the thing is, Mew, after a transform of a Zassi, he's going to be plus two. The thing is, I don't know if he can eat up like a Behemoth Blade. I really don't know if he can do that. But that could be ridiculously huge. Like, if I can just transform, I'll outspeed from there because I am going to be Choice Scar. But that's a, it's just a problem. It's just a problem with him knowing if he can soak up damage or not. So is he going to stay in or is he going to Dimex? He's going to stay in with the Water Spout. So Water Spouts can KO. I do not think Blade can take me out. And the thing is, if Blade doesn't take me out, I it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It's not very effective. It should bring us low, though. It should bring us low, but it shouldn't take us out. We just bring in uh, Mew and he can't transform because this Kyogre is dead all day. Awesome. Kyogre, I love you. Still did a ridiculous amount of damage. Lightning's going to fly through here. This thing is minus two on special defense. We're going to tell it to go home. It is definitely dead from here. Cool. And now I can, I just pose such a big threat. He can only hit one of my Pokemon. We got a crit that was taking him out anyway. RNG had nothing. But now we are sitting in such a good spot because A, I'm going to transform. Then I'm going to go plus two with Mew and I outspeed Zacian. It's either, it's either he lets that happen and I think Mew can take him out in one shot or he lets his geyser fly right into him, which we outspeed him now too. Everything's working out perfectly. This should be GG's for us. Mew's coming in that back end. I'm transforming into the Zacian. But this is why Mew would transform is so strong. Because it really can counter up on Zassi. It really can counter up. So I'll transform. I will go into a Geyser, but I think our opponent might just cancel. It doesn't cancel. We transformed, though. We said, hey, yo, we have Zassi. We came to play. Best part about it is we take his plus one, and then we get another. It's just insane. Guys are going to come out here, and guys are just going to take it out. Guys are just going to take it out. I'm surprised he didn't protect. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we didn't even need Mew, but... We use them anyway. But there it is, guys. Like I promised you guys, a win in battle number two. We are now sitting at one and one. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Grab ourselves that win. Sitting at one and one, we're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a win in record. We're going up against a several Aura Series 13 team. I think this is the first battle in today's video that we're going up against a mythical Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. He also has the Wimscott. He's got Yveltal, Zacian, Kyogre, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, Zygarde. And then he has Zygarde. I feel like those legendaries right there are just blah, blah, blah. I, I have them too, but they're, they're, everyone's using them. Everyone's using them. And if you're not using them, you're losing them. That's just, that's just how Series 13 is. But how should we go with this one? How should we play? He's probably going to lead maybe Zero Aura. I mean, I could go in DD and Geomancer, right? I think that's strong. As long as he doesn't go into Kyogre. As long as he doesn't go into Kyogre. Really so I'm going to go in with them too. I could bring Kyogre of my own. I do wish we had Ice Cream, but we do not. But uh, do we go Kyogre or Calyrex? I mean, Calyrex is super strong here. As long as you belt us off. So I'm going to hope that my Xerneas can get rid of you. Well, we can go from there. Then do I bring Mew or do I bring Kyogre? Kyogre would be better. Kyogre would be better, but Mew would be more fun, you know? Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum. I wish I had my phone next to me. I would have told Siri to flip a coin, but, uh, hmm. Hmm. Do we want to be better or do we want to be more fun? I want to be more fun. I feel like you guys would, would enjoy watching you a bit more than Kyogre. Because you guys already know what I'm going to do with Kyogre. I'm going to bring him into battle. The rain's going to come down. And I'm going to drop either an Origin Pulse or a Water Spell. You guys seen that 6,554 times already. So, we're going to use Mew. We are going to use Mew. Win or lose here. I'm happy with it. I'm cool with it. I just like bringing you guys some good content. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. But he's going to end up leading anybody but Kyogre. Cool. Anybody but Kyogre. I adore it. I love it. Dope. Okay, um... Definitely gotta follow me the shot. 1000% we gotta follow me the shot. We gotta set up the lovely thing. Let's see who's faster. Xerneas is faster, so that's good. Does Dark Aurora cancel out with the. Now, do I not have Fairy Aurora? I don't know if I do, but this is an uh, easy gym to set up with the follow. Kinda good for me. Right. Follow me. This is an easy Geomancer. We'll Geomancer and then we'll roll out for 
Okay, okay. So we have a shot. We have, we have a decent shot at winning this battle. Because once you get off Geomance with Zonius, one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. But again, he's gonna have Tailwind, he's gonna have Zacian. That is just a problem. Because Tailwind Zacian outspeeds my plus two Geomance uh Thernius. And he can take him out in one hit with Behemoth Blade. No bueno. So Tailwind comes out here. Fought out from 55 miles away. He's going for a heat wave. What are you going for here? He's going for a snarl. Can you dodge it, Zernius? Get the Cobra Berry. I mean, I don't mind going minus one. And Gleam or Starfall should be able to take that out. So. Kind of cool with that. I mean, I'm just going to Gleam next turn. I think Gleam should be able to take out Zernius, no problem. Well, not Zernius, Gibraltar. Yeah, I'm going to Gleam. And I think I'm just going to expand it for something. Just to get rid of this guy here as well. And then maybe Dynamax. I guess we'll decide if we want Dynamax or not. I guess we will decide. But Xerneas is faster. Xerneas is faster. So, I mean, I could Helping Hand Gleam. Which I am going to do. I'm going to make sure this video belt goes out. And then we'll trigger Sash. Maybe we'll trigger Sash with the other Scott. This has just got to be a play. So helping hand coming out and about. Clap, 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 clap. And then Wimscott should go first. Yeah, Wimscott goes first. That's fine. Hit into my DD. Can you soak that in DD? All day. Uh, Wimscott actually does low key a lot of damage. Thing comes out here. We should say bye bye to Yveltal. We do not. That hurts the soul. That really does hurt the soul. Because I should have died in Mexico. Probably going to strong me again, right? That's fine. That's fine. And DD goes down. Um, we are wasting out these tailwinds. Don't do bad. We are wasting out Tailwind. Uh, what can I do here? Can I set up anybody? I could transform a Calor or transform a Mew. Do I want to transform anybody? Hmm. Can we set up anything? Can we do anything? I could transform into that Yveltal. Having Yveltal wouldn't be bad. Because doesn't he have Calyrex on his team? I wish I could look at his Pokemon. I know he has Kyogre. But I gotta get rid of that Yveltal. I'm gonna transform into Yveltal. I'm gonna transform and I'm just gonna outspeed. I mean, the thing is, if we transform into Yveltal here, it could be a little bit of a problem. Because he could be going for it. What's going on? He could be going for a Moonblast into my Mew slot. That would just, that would just do it. But still, then I can just outspeed. I have the Choice Scarf. I feel like we can outspeed most. But yeah, we're gonna transform the Evolve. I still have my Dynamax. We're saving it for Kyogre at this point. And he withdraws. Oh, go into Zassian. Go into Zassian. Go into Zassian. Go into Zassian. Love it. We're transforming into Zassian now. Even better. Even better. Thank you so much, kind sir. Thank you so much, kind sir. Thank you so much. He's gonna end up protecting Whimsy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the Zassian. I have a plus two Zassian. Now that's a problem. Now he's scared. Now he doesn't know what to do. Now he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. We had a crit on that too. I'll take that all day. We're transforming. I love it. That's huge. That's huge. That, that, that might have turned tides a little bit. Now we have a plus two Zassian on the field. The strongest Pokemon plus two. Okay, so he has one more turn left in Tailwind. I think Whimsy has to go, right? I mean, he's got a target down, to be honest. To be honest, he's got a target down my... Uh, I can't protect. Okay, never mind. I cannot protect. I'm just gonna go into Blade here and get rid of Zassian then. Alright, so we'll say bye bye Zassian. Uh, I mean, we'll go for a Gleam if we can land it. If we can land it, that'd be nice. But he's gonna eventually get off another Tailwind. Hurts the soul. He's gonna end up withdrawal. Okay, he doesn't get off another Tailwind. Who are you going into here? I need your belt off. Can we, uh, it should be a speed tie with, uh, you protect okay, so Yveltal dies. It's just a death for Yveltal. I feel like he wanted to get off another tailwind, so he was just sacrificing his Yveltal. That's a, that's not a bad thing. Uh, so that's not, not too bad. I mean my Zassian matches its speed because we're choice. Actually, no, I think the tailwind would make him a bit faster. Yeah, dude, we're playing no games here. <laughs> we ain't playing around now. <laughs> we ain't playing around around now. He's gonna go back into Whimsicott. And we're gonna take out his Zassian unless he protects it. Actually, no, he just protected it. Unless he lands double protect, we take out Zassian all day. Mew coming in hot, dude. I love me some Mew. Mew tears it up. 
You tears it up, especially when he transforms into Zacian. It's so strong. That's why I said Mew's like very situational and he's very good 1v1. He's super strong 1v1. He just rips. But I don't know if he can eat up a, a Behemoth Blade. But that's got to go into Xerneas, right? That's got to go into Xerneas, right? Correct. Show it to me, Xerneas. See you later. Cool. I'm fine with that. I do not mind that. Xerneas drops out. We'll, we'll drop our Xerneas to take out his uh, Zacian. And now we have Calyrex, which I'm just going to die match. So Behemoth Blade comes out here. Zacian gone all day. Plus two. And that animation looks so weird. But we take that. The transform animation <laughs> looks so weird when it used Behemoth Blade. It like halves its body. Like, I don't know if they like... Did they mean to do that? Like, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I think they would have fixed it by now. So I guess they, they haven't mean to do that. But yeah, we bring out Calyrex. We have our Dynamax. He has our Dynamax. He's going to Dynamax Kyogre. I'm going to Dynamax Calyrex. And I think I just... Hey, what can Whimsy do? I mean, he can take out either or. I got to double down into this Kyogre. I have to double down this Kyogre. I got to set this Grassy turn. I have to set the Grassy turn. I could protect. How many turns off in Tailwind? Three. Yeah, the protecting's gonna do nothing. I think Behemoth Blade does more than Wild Charge, right? I mean, Wild Charge is double, but so is this. This is Stab. I think Behemoth Blade does do more, right? I don't even know, but I feel like it, it should, right? <laughs> it's not very effective, but it just does a ridiculous amount of damage. But I got a Dynamax Shoe. I gotta go into his overgrowth, and we gotta double down the Kai over here if we want a shot at winning this battle. But yeah, we're going Dynamax for Dynamax. Tailwind's definitely doing him good. Um, I think he just takes out my Zacian, right? I mean, I probably should have protected Zacian, to be honest with you guys. I probably should have protected Zacian, because we know he's going into Zacian. I could have protected and wasted out another turn. And that could have just been huge for us. But we still have Focus Ash with that Calyrex. But I feel like if he if he if he read the protect, it would just be GG's. Right, because at that point you could just double down the extra push. Oh. Still. Okay. This is terrifying. I don't think it's looking good. We should have protected Zassian. I think I feel like protecting Zassian was our one last hope. We should have. We should have. We should have. You could protect the whimsy. The whimsy. The lovely little cotton ball. Let's see how this one plays out here. He does protect the whimsy. Go up for my Calyx, please. You go after my Calyrex? Go after my Calyrex. No way. No way he doesn't go after Zacian, right? He goes after Zacian and... Mew is OP. That's GG's. We just won. We just won. Right? How much damage is this doing, first and foremost? Yo, Mew's OP. Mew is OP. He gets a crit. Oh my god. He was dead anyway. This thing was dead anyway. And now we just hit through this, uh, protect. That thing was... That Kyogre was dead anyway. We could have did half HP. This, this Calyrex was finishing off. But now Overgrowth comes out here. There it is, yo. 2-1, a beautiful winning record for today's video. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. We showcased Mew insanely strong. We showcased him really, really well. And I'm super glad we did. We got the Transform rolling. We got him powering through squads with plus two Zacians. It was just a gorgeous sight. I absolutely love Mew. And it was super fun to use on the map ladder. Is Mew the strongest mythical Pokemon for Series 13? Probably not. Is he the most fun to use? Probably. That transform was so much fun to use. Absolutely ripping into Pokemon with plus two Zacian. And he's just a really cool Pokemon all around, considering he can learn any single move. But 2-1 for today's video. Grab ourselves a beautiful record and showcase another mythical Pokemon for Series 13. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.